Happy noon everyone on this Friday and welcome to the couch in our living room. Today just feels like a couch day. It's so good to see all of you and uh, I'm actually uh, the t-shirt that I'm wearing this blue t-shirt is one the youth gave me after they came back from the youth gathering in Houston and it says um, my pastor can beat your pastor to a pulpit. So a shout out to all of our youth who gave that to me. Uh, it remains one of my favorite t-shirts and it gives me a laugh every time uh, I see it. Our scripture for today is from Matthew's account of the resurrection, uh, Matthew 28. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb and suddenly there was a great earthquake for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and they ran and told his disciples. Isn't it great to know that even people who saw Essentially, the resurrection firsthand, who were there, were filled with a wide variety of emotions. They were amazed. They were filled with fear, and they had great joy at what this could mean. And so our prayer today also recognizes the fact that our emotions are all over the place these days. And our daily prayer comes from uh, clouds and glory. Church Prayers or Prayers for the Church Year by David Adam. And these are some of the prayers for Easter Day. We remember before you all who walk in darkness and fear, all who are weighed down, all who are heavy laden. We pray for all who have lost hope, for all who are approaching death, for those caring for the terminally ill. For those in hospice. As you appeared to Mary and the travelers and the disciples in the upper room, be known among us. Christ be in our homes, in our work, and in our journeying. Christ Jesus, risen in glory, scatter the darkness from our hearts and from your world. Enjoy your Fridays, everyone, and God's peace be with you. Take care.